Hello guys, and welcome back to another CAFCast! Today we are back here in the wonderful world of Jurassic World. I'm flying high because I feel like it, I have no idea why, but the sun, she is beautiful this fine fair morn. Today is a good day guys. Today we are going to be choosing the next dinosaur to be working on over here in the wonderful world of Jurassic World. Uh, the actual exhibit itself that we're going to be spending time with. And I'm going to spend a quick bit of time showing you guys exactly where it's going to go. The question that we need to ask ourselves is whether or not a single exhibit will fit in there or whether or not we can just about squeeze in a double exhibit. I have no idea if it's going to be possible or not. It's going to be difficult to say for sure, but I know what we can do. We can certainly try and see which is best. So it's it's all the way over here. We're going to have to put in like either the road system that we had in the old zoo or probably, possibly some kind of like train system i think do we have do we have trains in this one what's this what's these things that we've got here detector train train dispenser dispensers linked trains onto tracks uh what's it called steam steam locomotive isn't it steam Yes, we do. Steam locomotive. Oh, fantastic. Okay. Well, maybe we'll have to uh, organise getting those back into the uh, the zoo at some point. We'll have a nice little train ride which goes around everything. We still need to build the wall for this exhibit here. We still need to add to the Dinosicus and the Psychosicus exhibit over at the back here. There's like a million kajillion things that we've got to get done. But we're going to do it. And we're going to do it in the next kind of like, I don't know, 30, 40 episodes, hopefully. <laughs> I'm just I'm hoping we get to a point where we're excited and happy with the progress that we've made and, and I'm, I'm gonna gonna keep my little fingers crossed that that's gonna happen I think it probably will I think we'll be fine anyway the extra exhibit place is right opposite the Ankylosaurus exhibit which you can see some of them have uh, grown up quite nicely and they're doing pretty well I think they, they like their kind of like swampy sort of habitat it's nice it's a nice area and the ferns are looking pretty good as well this is the place that we were kind of like working out the the layout for and i think if we were clever and we took out this part here we could probably have a double wide it looks like it would just about fit if we take out this little stretch of land here so I think a double wide would be good to go there, and then we can have a final single wide one on this side here. And I'm pe I feel like that would be, be a pretty good setup. Uh, we can, obviously, we can have another single wide exhibit here, um, just before Lubot's laboratory as well. So that's two more single wides and a double. Uh, and then we've got a couple more places for the aquarium fish to go as well. And that's before we start doing any kind of like additional work in, in terms of trying to expand the zoo uh, or anything like that. That's just getting the sort of like the basics done. Well, that, that's kind of like what I would consider to be a big enough zoo to actually like warrant having visitors come down. Although whilst we're having escaping pteranodons, I'm thinking it'll probably be a good idea not to have any uh, any visitors. But who knows? Who knows? Anyway, the, uh, the best thing for you guys to do right now is to do a couple of things because today is the day that we get to choose which dinosaur now comes and joins us at our a wonderful world what's this oh it's a tiger okay i was like is another dinosaur escaped oh my god so if in case you've been living on a rock or you have no idea how the uh, the wonderful world of jurassic world works here at the zoo cast it's pretty straightforward all the dinosaurs that we actually work with are chosen by our viewers, <clears throat> excuse me. And last time that we worked on a land-based dinosaur, we actually spent some time looking through all of the different uh, dinosaurs to see which ones we wanted to focus on most. And the ones that people kind of picked up on were ones that actually are in Jurassic Craft as well as fossils and archeology. span So if we have a look in here, if you guys go back like 10, 15 episodes, you'll remember that we had a, basically a choice between Gallimimus and Dilophosaurus. So those are essentially the two dinosaurs that we that we're kind of like choosing from right now, uh, as to which one we're going to be able to work with. That's completely up to you. But this is the choice right now because this one I did promise uh, everybody who had been picking the Gallimimus and the Dilophosaurus, because this has happened, you know, before, um, that we would work with either one of these two. So if you have a preference between Dilophosaurus and Gallimimus, here's how this works. The first thing that you need to do is make sure that you've liked the video that you're watching right now. This video right now, slap that like button. Then make sure that you are subscribed to the CAFCast. 
Once you've done these two things, all you need to do is leave a comment down below telling me whether you want to see the Gallimus or the Dilophosaurus, uh, and then I will tally up the votes and we will choose the most popular one. You can have a private account if you want to. I, I don't have to be able to reply to your um, uh, message. All you need to do is make sure that you're subscribed and you have liked the video. It's a really, really straightforward way of, uh, of getting involved with the show. Um, and it means that you get a chance to help out and choose which the next dinosaur is that we're going to be working on. Bearing in mind that it is a double wide exhibit that we're going to be working on here. It's a pretty exciting one. What I'm going to do for you guys, because I'm feeling super generous... And, uh, and I feel like maybe it'll be worth um, just spending a little bit of time kind of like having a look around. We're going to spend some time just kind of looking in the area here. Now, if you haven't really had a chance to uh, work with Gallimimus or Dilophosaurus before, and you're wondering what they look like, Google is your friend, my friends. I've linked it over all the, the, the two different names, so you can pause the video at those points. Type it into Google. If you're not 100% entirely sure about how to spell any of them, then it's all, it's all in there for you, nice and straightforward. Uh, and then once once you've, uh, once you've had a look at both of them, decide which one you want to go with and work with that one. We know that the Gallimimus, or at least I know, that the Gallimimus is like very fast and they're kind of like quite, um, quite ostrich in their stature, if that makes sense. Uh, let's get out the excavator and the hammer as well because uh, we're probably going to have to uh, do some hammering here. If I had a hammer, which I do on me right now, I'd hammer in the morning and I'm, that's what I'm going to do uh, again like right now. There we go. It's three, three down because we have to just go literally like this, just straight through it. Ah, oh, yes. Good. It's a really satisfying thing to be doing, actually. So when essentially what the uh, the thing that happens in between the episodes when I'm building the exit involves me doing like hours and hours of this, essentially. This is what happens. We just sit down and we go through all of this and we take it all out. I use the hammers uh, to make sure that it can just like cut out and be taken through nice and straightforward. We don't actually have any mossy cobblestone uh, knocking about, so I can't make this uh, regenerate health. So I have to make a new one every time. Fortunately, we do have quite a lot of manulian over in the smeltery on the far side next to the village, the village center that we've got. Um, but as you can see, it's actually quite quick uh, doing it this way. And then if we do find any cool things, we can just kind of like add them and take them away. Then I might have to take back some of this uh, this mountain as well, which means I might have to sort of like take a, another sort of like strip out of it. Um, but actually, that doesn't that isn't too complicated either because you just stand on it and look straight down like I did with the other bit over here, and you just literally just go like this. There we go, there we go, there we go, fantastic. <laughs> it's actually really straightforward. So yeah, it's uh, it's, all, it's all coming along nicely. So we'll go, I'll do this off camera because I know it's pretty boring for, for some people doing just the, the digging part is, um, is, a, is a pretty boring thing. But a lot of the time, we do find like loads of biofossils and stuff. As you can see, we found a couple just there straight away. Um, so there is a good chance for us to see if we can find a couple of different bits and pieces. The exhibits themselves don't actually go down this far. And in fact, what we're going to be doing, hang on. What's this? What's this? What is this? Is this... Hang on a second. Cyan wall. Oh, I know what this is. It's like a little... It's like a little weird cave in there. Oh my god, what's this? What's going on, guys? Is this... Hello? 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 Oh god. It sounds like there's something in here. Yeah, hello? I can hear, I can, I can hear you. Okay, I feel, I feel like I need to sort of like bung this in. It looks like the filler didn't do a very good job. I have to try and, try, try and fix the filler at some point. So this this essentially uh, is really, really weird. I didn't even know this was here. Um, so <laughs> the sort of thing that happens when you're working on, on camera here. Look, it's like a little, there's nothing here. I can hear animals and stuff. Oh, look, there's a bit over here as well. There is a, there is a torch there. It must have been the part that I was working on before when I put the landmarks down for the filler. As you can see, obviously, that it's a big square. You just put a landmark down in the in the, in the floor on one side and the other side, and then you use that to fill in the land. So I guess that it just didn't... I didn't quite go deep enough, and therefore it's... Yeah, I think that's what's happened here. It's just, it didn't go quite deep enough, and it's just left a little sort of like little layer. I can fix that. That's fine. The road's going to be coming across this way anyway, so that's not a problem. And in fact, if I have the road come out to this point here then we're going to be reconnecting up with this road coming around the corner there as well, which is going to link everything up quite nicely. I think it's actually going to look really cool once we've had a chance to do that. That's going to be really, really awesome. Okay, well, 
I think that's a, that's a fantastic opportunity for us. So don't forget, guys, make sure that you give me your vote, Gallimimus or Dilophosaurus. Uh, and again, please do use Google to make sure that you can see what they what they look like. And um, we'll go back to the uh, the visitor center so I can give you a chance to see those names again in case you want to quickly take them down. Um, so you've got them and you know which ones you're you're kind of voting for. You have a choice. You can choose one or the other. I don't mind which one we work on today because uh, it's kind of like the, the, the players vote and then we'll work on another uh, water-based um, dinosaur after that. And then once we've done that, we'll come back and we'll do a, another vote for anything again. Uh, which will be pretty exciting. Now, obviously, because we're still using Minecraft 1.7.10, we don't have any of the new Jurassic Craft dinosaurs in our Zoocast world yet. But as I've already explained to you guys, we are currently working on making a 1.8 server world place, which we can go to and start working on a whole fantastically, amazingly new area. And I have, I have no, literally no idea yet. We haven't, we haven't written any story down or anything for it yet. But it's going to be exciting. Um, and I've already organised some. Uh, some people who are going to be getting involved, some people that that, that you're gonna you're gonna love. So it's gonna be fantastic. But anyway, that's a that's a conversation for another day, I think. Have I got any apples? I've got five apples left. I can eat these. Well, thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. We've laid out where we're going to be working on the next exhibit. When I come back, I'll have the framework for the exhibit done. We can spend some time decorating it once we're, whilst we're waiting for the votes to come in, because obviously you guys do like to. I like to give you, you know, a few days for you to put your votes in, but. Gallimimus is spelled G-A-L-L-I-M-I-M-U-S, Gallimimus, and Dilophosaurus is D-I-L-O-P-H-O-S-A-U-R-U-S, Dilophosaurus. So there you go. Those are the two uh, ones that you need to have a look at. And whichever one you like the look of the most, make sure you choose that one. And don't forget, we're going to be using dinosaurs from fossils and archaeology and from Jurassic Craft as well. So there's going to be a nice variation of different dinosaurs that we're going to be working on in our exhibit, which is really really exciting once again guys thank you very much for watching i hope you've enjoyed today's episode please make sure that you are liking our videos it means a lot to me and it makes a big difference about how how able i am to make these videos if you'd like to see some more don't forget there's a new episode of the zoocast every single day and tomorrow we're going to do some exciting work on sorting out some of the exhibits with making sure that there is plenty of flora and fauna for us to work with if we get one or the other because we obviously we need to make sure that we're using the right habitat. But until then, I have been Caf of the Cafcast. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Take care guys. Bye-bye. <laughs> You've been watching the Gaffcast. We hope you have enjoyed the show. Don't forget to check out all of our other videos. Oh, and be sure to subscribe to us if you like what you see. That way I'll know to make more and that you really like me. So, you've been watching the Gaffcast. We hope you have enjoyed the show. Don't forget to check out all of our other videos.